As far as religion goes, I've decided. Uh, last night I decided this actually. I'm, oh, a, I'm a free agent. You're a free agent as far as religion. Yeah, I'm How a free agent. How do you do that? Kind of like uh, that whole sports thing we were talking about a few weeks ago, being a free agent. Yeah. Why do you have to follow your your home team year after year after year when they uh -huh. when they're not? Uh, uh, dedicated to you, the fan. They're always changing their team up every single year. So why can't yeah. you, as a fan, change up your favorite team? True. Well, what does it give you to lure you in as a free agent? Huh? How does a religion? How? What are they going to give you to lure you in to become? You know, well, free agent. They got to offer you something. I was reading uh, Sully's book last night. Uh, the paths we choose, I believe, is the name. Sully, of course, the lead singer of Godsmack. He uh, he sent some books down and autographed them and stuff. And it's a great read, by the way. We really should get him on the show to talk about his book. It's pretty amazing. He had a real rough uh, life, real rough life growing Kidding. up. Yeah, in Lawrence and uh, where else was he? All over the place. In he, what way? And then he moved down to Fayetteville. Uh, just, you know, uh, running with uh, bad boys on the streets and getting into all sorts of fights. A bad and crowd. Bad crowd, drugs, alcohol, uh, you name it. I bet he had that chip on his shoulder that guys, you know, of his stature have. What do you Probably. Mean? What? Well, he's not the tallest guy. Well, he knew he knows how to fight, though. Well, and, that's just it. And a lot of fighting stories in this book. Yeah. And a lot of bad relationships, you know, uh, going out with, like, a, a stripper from one of those, uh, I think it was the Golden Banana. Remember the Golden <laughs> Banana? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Who could forget? <laughs> but I can't, I can't put down Sully's book, and he's talking about the Wicca religion, you know. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Witchcraft. Yeah. Well, they don't want to be... It's not working for them. <laughs> yeah, it's working for them, and it's not as uh, vo you know, voodoo as, as as people like to think it is. No? But I, I it got me thinking that I want to be a free agent. I want to start, like, studying a bunch of religions, and then I wanna, I'm going to, like, uh, I'm going to... I'm going to accept a new God into my life. You're going to play the field? I'm going to play you're the just, field. You're taking Catholicism and throwing it out the window. Yeah, I, I want a uh, religion where if I... If I do something wrong, it doesn't mean I'm burning in hell for the rest of eternity. Yeah, but what if that's not the right religion? I like to eat meat on Fridays. Uh, well, that's why I got to study these religions. You got to find a good one that that lets you do whatever you want to do. Lets me do what I want. Little consequence. With yeah, much <laughs> less uh, consequence. Absolutely. Okay. Less guilt. <laughs> Looking for a religion with less guilt. Mm -hmm. Looking for a religion that accepts uh, sex. Okay. So why don't you join a cult? That's yeah, that seems to be. I don't think well, any really mainstream. You might have to go off the beaten path yeah. on this one. No, man. Most religions are cults. Who are you kidding? Well, all of them are. And who are you kidding? Way. But, so, but you, you, I think you're going to have to go off the beaten path of the um, the, the, the mainstream religions and find one of those wacky ones. I uh, was brought up Catholic. I, I believe in something. I don't know what. A deity? You believe in a, a, a I believe in bigger something. power, a larger power. But I want to like I want to see what the Hindus are all about. I want to look into this Wicca a little bit. Yeah. What other religion? Uh, uh, well, Wicca seems like the type where they're just you know out in the woods, yeah, kind of communing with nature and then yeah. having sex, yeah, and things like that. And then, uh, but but somebody's got to die. I think you got to sacrifice people or something. No, I don't think they have. No, the, uh, they don't have the devil in there. Uh, <laughs> They don't have the devil in their religion. No? No. But isn't it a whole thing like Mother Nature and... and yeah, I like that. And like the, the energy of the earth. I and, like that. And the plants and everything. Yeah. I think the American Indians uh, had it all figured out. Yeah, and they're doing very well. And then we decided to wipe them all out for their right buffalo now. and their our, Apparently our God was a little stronger, wasn't it? Wasn't our God a little more powerful, a little more mighty? Maybe for the here and now. Well... Oh, I can't wait to see Obi come in with those little Jew curls on the side of his head. <laughs> what, do do Wiccas have that? Or when he goes Hasidic, you mean? When he goes Hasidic. No, he finally decides to go Hasidic. I was thinking about that the other day. Actually, I was at an Islander game, and it would it would be tough for me to be Jewish. Yeah, because of the the roundy round thing. You don't want to wear the. Uh, I call it the roundy round. The roundy round. <laughs> Cecil. I, I, it would wreck. It, I don't think. The beanie. Yeah, I don't think wearing that would like uh, compliment my charming uh, cheekbones. Oh. You don't like the, the yarmulke? So I need a religion where you don't have to, like, grow crazy stuff or wear weird things. I, it's, uh, I, I was living in Brooklyn for a while, and uh, a lot of Jewish people in Brooklyn. And um, you see the young kids going to school, and they're trying to be tough and, and like, wear kind of hip-hop clothes, but they got to wear the yarmulke. <laughs> right. And it, on the side. It takes... <laughs> it just takes away...
every like bit of of trying to be tough with whatever you're wearing. Yeah, you could have like guns hanging from you. The second you put on the yarmulke, ah, it just kind of takes away. Yeah, from any look you're going for. Yeah, so because I, I sit uh, behind some some guys that wear the yarmulkes at the hockey game, and I was thinking, wow, could I possibly go through life having to wear that in public all the time? Yeah. How about? I guess that's a pretty vain thing to say, but I don't know. It just. Well, it's again. They're doing it for. Uh, I understand uh, why. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not mocking them. Oh I just, no, I am. I'm just, I'm just putting <laughs> myself in their shoes. And that must suck at times. Yeah. I've seen them blow off their head, and and it's in the middle of traffic, and they got to chase it down the street like a hubcap. And there's like a five. <laughs> I think there's like a five second rule, like like there is with food. You got to pick it up within five seconds, or something horrific's gonna happen to you in the afterlife. The wind catches it and it's just rolling down the street <laughs> on its edge. And you got five seconds to pick it up. I think <laughs> five second rule. <laughs> we so I, I don't want to. I don't want to be a Jew. I don't. I don't think I want to be. Uh, uh, Catholic anymore, or any of those offshoots of Catholicism, like, like Protestant. Yeah, they got like those offshoots where they're like Lutheran. We like the idea, or, but we don't like this. This is we're gonna take this out, this out, this out. We'll call it something else. Episcopalian, Episcopal. whatever that one is. Baptist. You want to be a Baptist? Baptist is pretty cool. Yeah, we just hey, and you're, you're in the church. They and know how to have fun. And no, yeah. I like that. Yeah. Why couldn't we start our own religion? Where like the Baptist thing? I've been to a few Baptist ceremonies and uh, a service. Have you? Yeah, I have. When? Huh? When the hell were you at a Baptist ceremony? A few times, man. I check. I check out stuff. That must have just. Dude, been... they're hollering and singing and woo! Their hands are shaking in the air. Yeah, this is it right here. This that is... must have looked like here's Waldo. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I've been in a Baptist church, <laughs> dude. You haven't lived till you've been in a Baptist church. <laughs> This is not. This is pretty much what happens every when Sunday. When did you go to a Baptist church and why? I went to a Baptist church in Boston. Oh wait a minute! I did. Did you go to the um, the Baptist breakfast at, at the uh, not the Hard Rock? That's not church. That's brunch. It was brunch. That's at the House of Blues. At the House of Blues. Yeah. That's as close as I've ever been to a Baptist prayer. I've been to a couple uh, Baptist churches, and they are singing and dancing. And Did you go with Black Earl? There's this positive energy. F Black Girl. <laughs> positive energy. Hands in the air. Just yeah. singing and dancing. Playing with snakes. Oh, yeah. Snakes. Oh, no. That was a, that That's was a whole other. That was when I was uh, down south, like, just wandering the earth. I what? forgot about that one. <laughs> I, I don't know. I've never been to a Baptist. Uh, There's some great churches out there to check out. So I want, I want a little, I want a little uh, Baptist because they know how to fu be, have fun on Sundays. Uh -huh. They don't speak in monotone like the Catholic faith every Sunday. Oh, oh Lord Jesus. Oh, yes. I like when they go forever and ever. ever. It's like why do you gotta sing? And it's all creepy. Because they'll be talking, they'll be like, and if we study the words of Jesus Christ, you will see that there is nothing but love in his <laughs> word. Like, what? what is this, a musical number? <laughs> what are the, what, yeah. What are the, the jets going to come out and start snapping? I know some of them. <laughs> singing to you. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da. I know some of the faithfuls out there, they uh, they joke and they have something called the Church of Opie, but maybe it's time. Maybe it's time to do the Church of Opie. You do a little, I want a little Wicca in there. Yeah. I want a little uh, Baptist in there. The Baptist, so you I, can sing and dance. I, uh, I uh, enjoy some of the Asian culture, so maybe a little Buddhism. Buddhism. Uh... I think you'd be a good Mormon. Mormon? Yeah, they get to... Look what they get to do. Not anymore, legally. Mormon? No. Well, I better not say what I was about to say, but uh, they they seem a bit... Uh, well, it's the Donnie Marie thing. They seem to be a bit weird, in my humble opinion. It's kind of... Um, it, it's a, they're, I'm not going for creepy, Rich. I'm going for uh, spirituality. What does Buddhism have that you would like to embrace? I don't know. I know nothing That's about Buddhism. That's why I got to study this crap. I don't know anything about it. They seem like peace-loving people. And I want some, uh, and I want to throw in a little reincarnation, too. Just a little bit. Oh, so you want a little, uh... A little taste of reincarnation, a little taste of the Wicca, a little taste of the, woo, hands in the air, celebrating. Like my, when I go to a church on Sunday, I want it to be all about singing and dancing, jumping up and down. That isn't really being a free agent. You want to start your own team. 
Well, I'm not sure. That's maybe pretty much what you're doing. Well, maybe one of these religions will uh, satisfy all these needs. Mm. Yeah. I don't think so. That sounds like, uh, yeah, cover yourself with a purple flag, chop <laughs> off your unit, and wait for a <laughs> spaceship behind a comet. And put on your Nikes. <laughs> put on your Nikes. <laughs> Brad in Atlanta. What's up, Brad? Hi, Opie. I think you should pretty much incorporate a lot of elements of Buddhism into this new religion of yours, because you pretty much don't have to do anything except be as nice as you can. I know your job doesn't permit that, so I mean, I'm sure that's <laughs> fine, though. Well, I know Wicca uh, has a bit of uh, karma. They talk about karma. Yeah, Buddhism does, too, pretty oh, much. Boy. You're gonna, well, I didn't... You're going to be reincarnated uh, after you die, and how, depending on how cool you are is the level whether you'll go up or down. I've done a lot of uh, horrific things in my radio career, but I've also made a lot of people happy. So I, I'm thinking the karma might uh, kind of balance out in the end, I'm hoping. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping. I hope. I'm hoping <laughs> you got a lot of penance to do <laughs> if you want to. I'm hoping. How long has this wick have been around? The one you're talking about? Uh, um, about 20 years. Um, 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's like Scientology. Yeah, you know. Just to kind of know. Or, you know what, I want to, like, start a uh, religion based on the Harry Potter novels. <laughs> Why not? Why, Why is that crazy? Because you can't do magic. Huh? Because you can't do magic. You can't take a little wand and, and do things. Yeah. It doesn't really work. And if I, someone is lingering longer, you, you mother effer, he doesn't have his name up there, but he writes, uh, you're just looking for your dad's tax break. Ooh. <laughs> well, there... It's an old story, but back in the day, my dad became something that yeah. we, that we, the Hugheses, were a, an official church. <laughs> no reason for the IRS to come after us. This was official. Yeah, my dad was some kind of <laughs> some kind of weird minister where we didn't have to pay taxes. <laughs> well, religious organizations, uh, uh, non-profit organizations, they don't have to pay uh, taxes. Wow, this was way back in the 70s, man. My dad found some kind of whacked-out loophole, and it was completely legal at the time. Yeah, a lot of people were doing that back then, and I had like, ministers, and then they'd uh, incorporate it. They'd make a church and not pay taxes. And I had to, like, uh, carry around a tax exempt. Did he also perform? Corn. To pay for my sneakers and stuff. What? Well, so playing corn in your yard? So, you're, <laughs> no, so no, you, he, he, he said that was a farm and you didn't have to pay a. Wait, you walked tax? into stores and showed them a form where you well, didn't pay tax? Well, my uh, my dad would give us these forms, and oh, whenever we purchased something, we were supposed to hand over the form to save on the taxes to sh show everyone, hey, we're the we're the. We're we're a church and we don't pay taxes. Uh huh. I was mortified because I'm like uh, I was a kid in high school with my friends and I'm gonna like yeah show this as we're all buying sneakers at the mall or something. F that. <laughs> but then when I came home, I told my dad, yeah, I, I handed in the form and I saved two dollars and forty eight cents. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. People are saying it sounds like welfare. <laughs> it does. It sounds like you're on the free lunch program. Well, anything more embarrassing than the lunch line at school? Oh, the free lunch. <laughs> Handing his form. <laughs> People have no idea where I came from, man. I do very well for myself now, but man, it was. I was on the free was, lunch program for a uh, uh, while, yeah, and it was very embarrassing. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. Yeah, I wouldn't walk up. I'd starve for the day or I'd go out and get pizza. You got those little tickets. My mother made us get those. Oh, they made it like really embarrassing, where you had to. To like hold the whole lineup, and the the woman at the cash register was like, <sighs> "Got another one." Oh, thanks. Yes, to thanks. embarrass us. It's already embarrassing. Thanks for making it even worse. We're poor. And thanks for reminding me that that uh, we did grow vegetables in the backyard to save yeah. a few bucks on groceries. Rich, thank you. Yep. Well, you could. And that my brothers, my poor twin brothers, had to use their brand new bikes as plows. Plows. Yeah, they save on property tax because you say it's a farm. Well, who knows? Or whatever tax it is. No, see, like they were one step away from Waco. We had a <laughs> should have had the, the feds coming in and burn your house down. We had a nice sized backyard that was perfect for a wiffle ball and uh, and a pool mm. that we never got. Uh, that was the thing we talked about year after year after year. Ah, uh, this gonna, year we'll get the pool. Gonna get a nice big pool in the backyard. Playing wiffle ball and chipping golf balls and playing football. Perfect yard for, for five boys mm. until uh, we decided to turn it into a farm to save money on groceries. And my, my little brothers got uh, bicycles one year. And they even at this point, I think they were 10 and they knew something was up. They were suspicious. Why brand new bikes at, at 10 years old? And sure enough, my dad showed how they could... 
they could uh, put a uh, long board between the bikes yeah, and kind of ride together through the farm to flatten it out so we can plant some seed. That's right, great. We, Did he get you yokes to put around your neck, too, and pull, like, farm machinery, little house on the prairie? When, when you weren't churning butter, <laughs> were you guys Amish? What was going on? My, oh. my brother says that we didn't have uh, bedrooms. We had barracks. I'd like to... Uh, they were always putting us to work around the... The, around the house. I'd like to add a uh, name to the weirdo list for today. <laughs> the Hughes family. <laughs> hey, we can get another one. We'll add this one to the list, too. Uh, Chris Cleveland, good afternoon. What's up, Chris? Hey, good morning, boys. Good yeah, morning. I got a weirdo for that list. Yeah. Uh, you know, that, that, that Tom Cruise guy is a weirdo. Mr. Man. Mr. Man. Hey, Tom Cruise. It's a Tom Cruise. It's a Tom Cruise. It's a weirdo. You got to linger longer for that one. Yeah. But very good, Chris. Uh, let me play this for you, too. And punt. Yeah, and punt on yeah. that. Yeah. Tom Cruise is on our weirdo list today. One more before we take a break? Sure. Let's go to uh, Dana oh. Reeves Lung. <laughs> is that a name? I guess so. From Whack Bag. What's up, sir? Dana Reeves. We'll How's just, it going, guys? Good morning. We'll just call you DRL. What's up, DRL? <laughs> How about uh, Marilyn Manson with his uh, recent purchase? Of Chinese kids, skeletons. Yeah, Marilyn Manson in a little bit of a jam up. He's being sued by band members saying that he squandered their money on uh, purchases that were a little odd. Um, Asian children's skeletons, he seems to be into. And uh, and skin and stuff, and too, skin, right? And skin, like things like, uh, yeah, what lampshades made out of skin. Oh, no. <laughs> and he's into Nazi uh, memorabilia. Right. Uh, which, you know, doesn't make you a bad person as long as you're just into the era. If you're into the era and collectibles like that and not embracing the ideology of uh, the Nazis, uh, I see no problem with that. You, you would have got along uh, great with my dad. Oh, really? Finding ways around things. Well, no, I'm just <laughs> saying. Like, my uncle over Thanksgiving showed me a beautiful knife. Uh -huh. And it had, a, you know, a swastika and SS uh, symbols um, emblazoned upon them. And it was an actual knife that was given to uh, Hitler Youth uh, back in the 30s. And uh, very, very, very nice knife. I mean, if you look at it not as, oh, boy, I'm a Nazi, uh, this is great. You look at it like, wow, this is a piece of history. You know, good, bad, or different, whatever it is, it's just a piece of history. I, uh, yes, you now have a clip of me saying I'm a Nazi. <laughs> there you go. Hey, we got to take a break. We're running a little late here. We got a bunch of people want to talk about religion. We got uh, Max in Dallas. My chick is Wiccan. She allows other girls in bed. Someone is uh, suggesting I try uh, Satanism. Great. Uh, Alan in Brooklyn, stay where you're at. He wants to. Uh, he wants me to be a Baptist. Oh, don't be a Baptist. He's going to no. explain why. Well, why? They they look like they're celebrating every Sunday. All the like time. That. But I think during the rest of the time, it's very strict. And do they do that uh, House of Blues brunch still in Boston? I'm sure they do. Uh, that, 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 little, little food and a little God. I got talked into going to that thing. All right, we'll talk about that. Oh, did that suck. I was just talking about that recently, how much fun I had doing that. <laughs> it sucked. Well, all right, we'll explain I got next. dragged to it. All right, we'll explain next. And then uh, Mike in Jersey, Lutheran. Because their weddings are really cool. We'll find out why. Yeah. Lutheran weddings are cool as well. I am a religious, uh, religious, 